Okay, so I just found this little guy. I didn't realize that he was in a nest box. I thought she had eight, but she actually had nine, and this little guy was a peanut. She was hiding in the bottom. So we're just going to do a quick educational post on what a peanut looks like. Sometimes people will post, hey, I don't know, what is a peanut? What does it look like? Is this one a peanut? So this is, this is a peanut here. Very cute little guy. And then we have just a small normally developed kit here. I'll try to get good shots for comparison. Okay, a small kit. And then this is just a normal sized, oops, let's hold still, normal sized kit, okay? So you can see a little bit, this guy's really thriving. He's got a really full belly. Um, and this one is just a little bit small, but proportionally um, similar. So these two, the, the biggest difference between them is just their size. This little peanut here, see if we can get a side-by-side -side comparison. Um, compared to your normal kit, has more of a, a flat forehead. And the peanut, hi little guy, he has kind of a, a round bulging forehead. Um, and then if you look at the ears on a normal kit, um, they will be proportionately bigger, and it's kind of hard to tell than the ears on, on this little peanut. They're, they're really like almost paper thin and, and about half the size that the ears should normally be on another kit. Hi, baby. Hello, you're very cute. You know, come snuggle your brother. That's very sweet. Oh, right over the top of him. So. Anyway, so this is what a peanut looks like. They also have an underdeveloped hind end. So their hind quarters don't really develop. They, they get very skinny. Um, and you can see that kind of more on the, the top profile here. They just have a very, very skinny looking hind end. And usually they don't have very good function of their back legs. I've only had them live uh, about a week max, um, but we're not gonna let this guy go that long, so. But we're so grateful for all these other little happy jumping beans. This was out of my tricolor and my brand new red buck. So, and actually my red buck, he threw another litter with my other broken red doe. And she had three out of five babies were peanuts. So maybe I'll show you guys those ones as well, just for comparison. Okay, this is litter number two. This is out of the same dad, same buck, and my other doe. So she had two normal kits, and they have really nice big fat milk bellies, which is wonderful. And then we have these little guys, and they're actually pretty lively um, for being peanuts. I think that they're just a couple days younger than the other ones. So usually they start out and they can fill their belly once or twice, and then they just start to really fail to thrive and fall behind their litter mates. So let's see if we can get a good side-by-side -side comparison. So you can see this little guy here. I think he's the most lively of all the peanuts. So you get a good look from the side. He almost looks like um, <laughs> a pachycephalosaurus or how, whatever, however it's pronounced, the, the dinosaur with the big dome head. They have a more of a dome on the skull and then again this teeny, teeny, tiny little ear and it almost sits like further down. Whereas with this one here, the ear is, is uh, a little bit bigger in proportion to the head. And their head is, is not quite as domed. You can see that they have a little bit more of a flat, flat surface. So, um, and then again, looking from the top down, their hindquarters are just really, really small in narrow and a little underdeveloped. These guys are getting around pretty well, but yeah. So these ones, these are, are sad for me because I'm like, oh, but you could make it. <laughs> but I, I think I've, I've heard tall tales of, of peanuts, you know, surviving, but, but usually that's not the case. So once they start to really struggle and fail to thrive we just we just take care of them so anyways so this litter this mama 
Cassie, I think she's given me peanuts in every single litter um, that she's ever had, but she's always ever done just like one or two. And I've got three out of this one. <laughs> I've never had majority of peanuts before. Um, it's pretty common with Hollands, from what I understand, and other small dwarf breed rabbits like Netherland dwarves. I have other bucks who I have been able to breed without getting as many peanuts. So this new buck, I think I might have to be careful who I breed him to because um, Cassie seems to be more prone to throwing peanuts than, say, Susie or Genevieve. So neither of those rabbits have ever given me a peanut, even if I've bred them to different bucks. So we will have to do a test breed with them and this buck to see if we can get some good uh, babies out of him without them all being peanuts. So anyways, I just know that when I first started with Hollands, I had no idea what a peanut was. And every time I saw a little baby, I was like, is this a peanut or just a little baby? <laughs> So hopefully this is a little bit helpful for you guys. You can really see um, the profile is really what gives it away on these guys and then the ears for me too.